Well, in our case, we have developed three scenarios. Uh, we are at the moment in a uh, scenario called remote teaching or learning, where everything is taught uh, via online and via internet, uh, including the architecture design studios. Uh, the second phase is calling hybrid uh, model, let's say, and uh, it's kind of combination of uh, uh, online and in-person uh, studying. Uh, it means the lectures are generally uh, online and the practical courses like a studio uh, are uh, inside or on-site. Uh, and then we have uh, like a normal operations, which we hope that we will come in soon. That's it. So we're using Teams to meet the students because we cannot meet in person and uh, a lot of changes are actually in the way the students work. There's more uh, like discovering on your uh, own when you, when you attend our classes, but there's uh, also a lot of discussion as the whole group and I believe this is different than in the classroom, but everybody actually needs to hear all the issues other students are having and I guess this is maybe more consistent or like you get all the trouble and you get all the solutions in one uh, in one course. So there are other advantages of this as well. As well. Typical week schedule contains architecture design studios every all day on Tuesdays and plus Fridays afternoon. The rest uh, of the week is dedicated to the uh, additional courses, uh, seminars and lectures. Uh, it contains about uh, 30 hours uh, per week uh, at school, plus the preparation uh, is about 20 to 30 hours at home individually. Yes, right now all our courses are taught online. No, but it is highly recommended, since if we switch from our online scenario to our hybrid scenario, the students will be required to take practical education in the school.